right now, just uh, you know, uh, suspended from the from the team for the, uh, for the time being for contract detrimental to the team, and uh, we'll uh, revisit that uh, as we move forward. Would that be a how you when you say revisit the mm -hmm. team in a few days? I mean, what's the time frame? Yeah, at, at, at the moment, right now, he, he's suspended for now, and then we'll uh, revisit that um, after a couple of days or so. And, right and uh, when was that decision made? Was that on the way back to talk to Jeff? No, we got a chance to talk, talk to Jeff and talk to the staff and, uh, um, we had, and had a conversation uh, this morning, and we made a decision to uh, move forward with that based on what took place last night. Can you explain elaborate what took place last night? I probably won't. You know, I probably won't. Uh, something that happened in our locker room, and we'll keep it at that and just simply, uh, you know, conduct that detrimental to the team. Can you um, at least tell us if it was verbal as Oh, it wasn't physical. No. Has this been, has <laughs> this been something that's been building? No, no. No, no. It hasn't been building because I, I don't hold on to anything and move it to the next day. Uh, things that take place is in that particular moment, and I deal with things in that particular moment and then move forward. Is this your decision or Jeff's decision? Or no, it's a combination. Oh. Combination. Everybody a combination. You know, I, I share with him what I thought, and they share with me what they thought, and then we came to a conclusion uh, all the way around, and uh, uh, they did everything they can. Uh, you know, with the support of me, and said what you feel, you do. Did you speak to Demarcus this morning at all? Yeah, 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 yeah. We talked. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, we talked this morning. We, we had a meeting with him this morning. And what was the? I mean, you're not going to tell us what no. you said, but you know. Right. We had a meeting, and then we informed him about what was going to what's going to come from that meeting, and uh, and then of course, obviously, you heard the release and everything. So that's where we are. What was your reaction? Hmm? What was his reaction? Well, he just listened, and uh, but I won't go into reaction and body language and all that you know we made a decision made a call and uh, now we got to get our this group of guys now ready to play against a pretty good uh, a basketball team and some good players at different positions and I mean I'll tell you mm -hmm. mentioned everything but you know mm -hmm. this is a you know, your leading scorer your leading rebounder mm -hmm. this is a team that's really struggled yes. as far as keeping guys in and out mm -hmm. the lineup mm -hmm. what do you how do you manage this group and not let this thing hey. just spiral out of control hey, anymore? Just what we did last night. Those guys got on the floor. They could have folded the tent and uh, and said that was it and lost that game but getting embarrassed in that basketball game. But nevertheless, they still played. They competed. Uh, they went out. But if you're trying to create something, create an environment, you, you can't build it if, if it's going to go uh, against the grain. And um, and that's the establishment that, that I've tried to do and want to continue to do is uh, – build a basketball team the right way and uh, everyone got to uh, adhere to what it is that we're trying to do. You know, we get to elite status, some things can kind of be pushed on the rug, but you're not there yet. So, um, so unfortunate that we're in this situation. I hate the fact that we are in this situation, um, but obviously we are in it. And there's nothing you can do about it, but get yourself ready, prepared, get the players prepared and ready to play and ready to work. Uh, we came in today uh, at an earlier time zone, uh, time, time frame. Uh, after getting in last night about 1.30, and the guys came here, and uh, we got them on the floor. To uh, I think always, for me, is to get back into the safe haven of getting on the floor and working. And the guys came on the floor and worked this morning, and obviously we had finished our film session, and uh, and now we got to get ourselves ready for tomorrow's game. Do you have practice because of the incident with the morning? No, we won't have practice anyway. Yeah, we're going to have practice anyway. Yeah, we, was the timing of it because of, you know, just what, to kind of get the, the practice? Yeah, just to get it out of their system and just get back to work. Yeah, 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 that's always. I mean, we're going to practice anyway today. The yeah. only thing I did was move up the time a little bit earlier. You know, guys want we have a game tomorrow, obviously, and we want to get the guys out of here to get a chance to go do some last-minute shopping for the most part. So, uh, But I wanted them to work first, and we did come in and work first, and uh, so that's why we moved practice a little bit earlier. With the, with the situation with Demarcus, has, I mean, has his behavior been wearing thin on his teammates? I mean, well, that's up to the individual. I mean, some teammates can handle certain things. Some teammates pay no attention to it, and some it probably does affect, you know. But it, but I, I got to see the health of our entire team, you know, and uh, make sure that all of us are healthy in this environment because, you know, when you're not winning or you're not doing things, even if you're going out competing hard and, not, and, uh, and competing and not winning a game, but you still have the same approach to the game, uh, you just want to make sure that that's an environment that our entire team can function in and not just – uh, you know, one person or three people, but everyone, you know, everyone wants to you know, turn this around. Well, that, that's what we're working for. That's what we're working hard to get our team moving to where we are a respectable basketball team and eventually a playoff team and eventually competing for a Western Conference position, you know. So, uh, but all these things start at the ground level when you're trying to build it up, when you're trying to make sure everybody's going to do the right things all the time. And uh, obviously we had a situation last night. Going forward, are you mm -hmm. just concerned about DeMarcus' psyche? 
just, I mean, three, you know, three suspensions, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's uh, the incidents yeah. in previous seasons, you know, especially mm -hmm. before you were here. Are you just concerned right. as to where his head is at? Well, I want to get into that type of deal, but I'm concerned for any of our players uh, when these things are happening to them, you know, because I'm, I'm around these guys more than I'm around my own sons. You know, so I'm going to be concerned about any of our guys uh, when things are not going according to their plan or how the plan we had for them uh, to play and be successful. So, yes, I'm going to always be concerned uh, about them. No different than I would be about my own kids because, like I said, I spend more time with these guys here than I do with my own family during the course of a season. So, yes, you're going to have concerns, and you want people to get on track and do the right things and so they can be proud of themselves and so the people that they represent are proud of them as well. And uh, for me, I'm always going to be a proponent of saying, give those guys all the credit. I'll take all the blame when things doesn't go well. Um, because that's how it is. You know, the ball players, you know, I, I'll make sure that they, their horn is, is tooted very loud. But I also will cover them as much as possible when things are not going well. But when things go beyond that, you can't cover it because it's, it's, it's knowledge now, public knowledge. Okay. Is there a point where this, this incident after incident after incident, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His words and the apology just become right. hollow. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. Right. Uh, I don't want to keep going down that road and talking about that, but you know, deeds become important now. It's not so much words, and I think that's where you're trying to get him or any person to get to the deeds of it, because everyone will see your deeds, and then then there'll be more believability there than uh, just words you're saying. Um, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't really touch base on that. I just know that we got to get stronger as a team and uh, we got to start trusting each other a lot more, especially now that um, Demarcus is out. We're going to have to have some guys step up, including myself, to be able to win games. And and everybody can't not going to feel sorry for us. Nobody in the, around the league is going to feel sorry for us that Demarcus is suspended. It's just it's the NBA. We got to step up. People got to uh, want to win and people got to want to step up. So good chance for a couple people who wasn't playing and uh, for the guys who was playing it's a it's a good chance to uh, see where we're at as a team. Uh, I don't really think it was um, of course it was a reaction but I think it was pretty much just um, we got to work and um, stay together as a team and you know come out and have a good practice. It was pretty short and simple. At some point I mean you know, there's been a couple of incidents with him so far this season. He's apologized said I'm going to grow from it and then another incident pops up I mean, you can't build Rome overnight. So, I mean, you have to give it time. He gave his word that he will change. And um, no, no matter what the problem is, he gave us his word. So that's what we're holding on to.